Chaitanya Bhagavat, Adikanda Chapter 5, The Childhood Pastimes of Nimai Vishwambar and Navadri Mayapur Dham, January 1st, 2014. This is a continuation of the pastime of one visiting Brahmana, a wandering mendicant who had a Gopal deity. He was trying to make a bog offering, then Nimai came up and snatched the, all the offerings and ate them himself when he was in meditation. The Brahman was in meditation, making the offering. So now Jagannath Mishra pleaded with that mendicant to make the offering again. So it was the second time around. And this time Nimai also came and ate the rice. Sambrame utiya mishra hatte wari laya krode takorere laya jaya dhawa jaya Enraged, in a very angry mood, Jagannath Mishra got up, took a stick in his hand and chased after Nimai in anger. Mahabaye Prabhupale la eka ghare Krode Mishra Pache Taki Tarja Garja Kare. The Lord fearfully fled into another room with Jagannath Mishra chasing behind and chastising him with an anger. Mahabhai Prabhu. So Prabhu Gauranga, Prabhu, Prabhu Vishambara was experiencing great fear. Just like Gopal, Krishna, and Gokul Dham during his Bali Leela was running in fear of Mother Yashoda. Urdantam Mahur Natra Yugmam Rajantam Karam Bhoji Yugmena Shantanka Natram. Mishra Bole Aji Deka Karon Tora Kare Tora Mate Parama Amboda Ami Arya. Jagannath Mishra called out, chastising his son Nimai, Just wait, Ajiteka. See what I will do to you today. Although I am an Aryan, you consider me a fool. O oh, naughty boy, I will punish you today for your mischief. Even though I am so learned and respectable in this country, you, my son, consider me a great fool. This is extremely unreasonable. Hina maha chora shishu karagariyache eta bali krode mishra ndhaya prabhupache Well, this is more of what Jagannath Mishra was saying while chasing after his son in great anger. Who has such a great thief for a son? Mahachor Shishu Kari Gariyache. Who, who in this house has a Shishu, has a child who's such a Mahachor? Mahachor Shishu Kara Gariyache. Sabidari Lena Jatna. Kariya Mishere Mishravoli Eda Aji Marimu Uhari Everyone present there tried to restrain Mishra, but he said, Leave me alone, today I will beat that little mischievous boy. Sabe Bolina Mishra Tumita Udhar Uhari Mariakon Sadut Sadut Sadutwa Tamar Oh, Mishra, by nature you are magnanimous and kind. What kind of intelligence would you be exhibiting if you beat your gentle son? Balamanda Gyananai Uhara Shariare Parama Arbodaje Emana Shishumari. Don't you understand your son, Vishvarnimai? 
he can't discern the difference between what is right and wrong. And anyone who beats a child is certainly a great fool. Parama abhoda. No intelligence. Extremely foolish. Marile konwa shakibe hina nai sabhave shishura chanchala mati hai. Your child, although he's restless and mischievous, he will not learn simply by being beaten by you. By nature, children are always restless. You can't change that. Children are mischievous by nature. Even if you try to teach your boy, he will not learn. Atte vyatte astise Tartika Brahman Vishradariya Hatte Bolena Vachan At that time, the mendicant Brahmana who was attempting to offer boga to his Gopal deity, hastily came there, holding the hands of Jagannath Mishra. That wandering mendicant Brahman said, Balakera Nahidosh Shuna Mishra Rai Jai Dine Jai Taha Habari Chai Listen, Mishra, your child is not at fault. Whatever is meant to happen on a particular day will certainly take place. Hito Padesh says in this regard, Yad abhavi na tad bhavi Yad abhavi na tad bhavi Bhavi chenna Bhavi chenna tad anyata Which means whatever is not meant to be will never be, and whatever is meant to be cannot be otherwise. Whatever is not meant to be will never be, and whatever is meant to be cannot be otherwise. Aji Krishna Ananahi Likena Amare Savaye Marma Kata Kahilun Tumare The Tairtika Brahman, the wandering mendicant Brahman who had begged some Boga to cook for his Gopal deity twice in a row from Jagannath Mishra, his host, he said, Listen, Mishra Rai, Aji, today Krishna has not allotted, has not written my name on any rice. Ana nahi likena amare. Literally in Bengali, says, My name is not written on any rice, on any grains. As it is said, that every grain of rice or every grain of wheat that we eat, actually our name is written on it. It's, in, it's our destiny to receive that much, that much or more, or that much or less, depending on what charity and punya, religiosity we performed in our prior life. <coughs> this is my realization, Jagannath Ji. No food is allotted for me today. These are the marmakata, tamari. I'm revealing my the confidential topics of my mind. Dukhe jagannatha mishra nahi tole muka mata hita kariya pavena mane duka. Feeling distressed, Jagannath Mishra was unable to lift his head. He simply looked at the ground and lamented. Hine samaye vishvarupa bhagyavan se stani ailena mahajyotirdham vishvarupa bhagavan mahajyotirdham At that time, the elder brother of Vishwambar, Vishwambar Nimai, Nadi Nimai, the most powerful and effulgent Vishrup came there, Mahajyotir Dham. He was in a, a dham, an abode of great light, great white light. 
महाज्योतिर धाम विश्व रूप भगवान सर्व अंगे निरूपम लवन्यर सिंह चतुर्दश भुवन अन्नाक उपमा There is no comparison to the matchless sweetness nirupam lavan lavanyera sima the matchless radiance and richness and sweetness of the anga sarvanga of all the bodily parts and limbs of vishrup chatur dasha bhuvanaya and the four directions of earth and all four directions you cannot find anyone like this chatur dasha bhuvanayo nahika upama skande yagya sutra brahma teja murti manta murti bere janmila apani nityananda a brahman thread hung on his shoulders he is a source of the brahman effulgence and though in a different form Vishrup is directly Lord Nityananda Murti Bede Janmila Apani Nityananda he's in a different a different form Murti Bede Sarva Shastra Artha Sada Spuraye Jivai Krishna Bhakti Vyakya Matra Karaye Sadhai the purport of all scriptures is eternally manifest on the tongue of Vishrup Sarva Shastra Art Saraspuriya Jiva. What a wonderful benediction and power that would be the Jiva, the tongue, Saraspuri, Sadaspuriye. Always, at all times, whenever required or necessary, for the glorification and service of the Lord and His devotee, Saraspuriye Jiva. Always manifest, ready to, ready to. speak or ready to unfold or reveal on the tongue is what the the essential meaning the art the essential objective value and meaning of sarva shastra all the shastras so this is his intellectual capacity that he was a, had a photographic memory for all the siddhantas vaishnava siddhanta and furthermore krishna bhakti Vakya Machakare Sadai Vishrup the elder brother Vishwambar Nimai Pandit was always engaged in preaching Krishna Bhakti Krishna Bhakti Vyakya Kare Sadai all the time he was establishing the topics and speaking words and glorified the Samam Sambandha Vidaya Prayojana Tattva of Shuddha 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 Krishna Bhakti Dekhiya Purva Murti Tartika Brahmana Mugda Haiya Ika Drishti Chahi Ganagana Seeing the extraordinary beauty of the elder brother of Vishambar and Vishwarup The Tartika Brahman, the mendicant wandering brahman was struck with wonder and stared at vishwarup continuously ekadrishtye gana gane gan it was a continuous stream of attentive looks and examining ekadrishtye one pointed observation mugda he was struck, he was amazed bewildered deki apurva murti such an unprecedented form he has never seen dekia apurva murti viprabole kara putra e mahashai sabe bolena e mishara tanai noticing all this the brahman said whose son is this is who whose son is this great mahashai this great person The Navadvipa Vasis and Nadia Vasis said, "He is a son of Jagannath Mishra, Mishra Tanaya. He is part of the body of Jagannath Mishra. Shuniya Santoshe Vipra, Kailalingana, Dhanya Pita Matta Jara, Ehi Na Nandan. 
The Brahman was very satisfied to hear this news, so he embraced the Tairatika Brahman. He embraced Vishrupa and said, Glorious are the father and mother of such a son. Viprare Kariya Vishrupa Namaskar Vasya Kahena Kata Amrit Teradhar Vishrupa offered obeisances to the Brahmana. He then sat down and began speaking words that were like a stream of nectar. Amrit Teradhara <coughs> Beautiful description of his Hari Kata, his Kata. Kata amritera dhara. Dhara means a current, a current, a stream, a river, a flow, a constant flow, nourishing, soothing, refreshing, cooling nectar. Nectar kata. Kata amrit. Tava kata amritam. Amrita kata. Kata amritera dhara. Shubhadine tara mahabhagyera udhai. Tumihena atiti. Jan Hara Grihe Hai. This Shrupa said, O oh, great wandering mendicant Brahman, whoever receives a guest like you, an Atiti like you, at his house, he will attain great fortune on that auspicious day, Shubhadine. That's a very auspicious day when one can serve a, a great saint or a wandering sannyasi. It's very auspicious that day for the family. Grihastas. And they have attained Mahabhagya, greatest fortune. Jagat Shodite Se Tomara Paryantan Atmanande Pornahai Karaha Brahman Varamana Brahmana. Although mendicant, you are self satisfied. Atmananda Purna. You are completely your self, your atma, body, mind, heart, consciousness is completely full of bliss. You travel about in order to jagat shodite, shuddha, to purify the world, sanctify the world. So in these verses, although he's glorifying this immediately, this wandering mendicant, the Tairatika Brahman. This rupa is also describing the srupa lakshana of a paribrajak, a wandering mendicant. Devotees of Krishna are always self-satisfied, atmananda purna. Why? Because they are filled with ecstasy, by serving Krishna. Bhagya bhara tumihena atiti amar abhagya vaki kahiva upasa tumar. It's our great fortune, said Vishrup, that we have a guest in our house like you. But we are also unfortunate because you are fasting. Because Nimai. My younger brother ate your Takaji's bog offering. Tumi upa vasa kari takka jaragare sarvata tahara amangala faladhari. If you fast while staying in someone's house, you will simply bear inauspicious fruits. Harisha painu bara tomara darshane. I am greatly satisfied by seeing you, O Brahmana. I am very sad to hear about what has happened. After hearing Vishrup apologizing for the misdeeds of his younger brother, for disturbing the eating and puja of this wandering mendicant, the Brahman replied, Vipra boli kichudukha. Naba vihaman, falamula kichuami, kariba bhojan. The Brahman said, O Vishwarup, please do not feel sad, kichudukana. 
I will eat some fresh roots and fruits. Falmul kichuami kariba bojan. Vanavasiyami yana kotaya vapai. Prayami vane fali mula matra kai. I live in the forest, Vanavasi Ami. So where can I get rice? Anakotai. I am accustomed, actually, and quite familiar with eating fruits and roots from the forest. Kadachit konadivase vakayana sehajari nirvirode haya upasana. I seldom eat rice only when it is easily available. Jai Santosha Pailana Tama Darshane Tahate Koti Koti Kardanon Bojane. I have become so satisfied by seeing you that I feel as if I have eaten millions of meals. Fala Mula Naivedya Yekichu Taki Gari Tahana Giyaji Kariba Ahare. The Brahman goes on. Avishambara, please go and bring any fruits, roots, or prasad that you have, and I will eat that today. Uttara Nakare Kichu, Mishra Jagannath, Dukabhave Mishra Shire. Dia duty hot. Jagannath Mishra could not say anything. Uttara Nakari Kichu, not even a word. He just held his head in his hands in distress. Vishwarupa Bolena Valite Vasibhai. Radi Radi. Sahaja Karuna Sindhu to me Mahashai. The Shrub said, I hesitate to speak, but I know that you are an ocean of mercy. Karuna Sindhu to me Mahashai. Paraduke Katara Samhava Sadhu Janna Parera Anandase Paraya Amukshan. It is the nature of saintly persons to be distressed on seeing the suffering of others. They always try to make others happy. They take a pani jari nira lasyaya krishna naivedya kara randana kariya. So, if it is not too much trouble, O Brahman, please cook for your Krishna deity of Gopal again. Tabe aji amara koshtira jata dukha. Sakala Guchai Pai Parananda Dukkha Parananda Sukha Vishru said, Then my family's distress will be vanquished and we will attain transcendental happiness. Parananda Sukha Viprabali, the Brahman replied to Vishru, Randana Karinlan Duibhara Tadapiyat Krishna Dilena Kaibhara the Brahman said, I've already cooked rice, yet Krishna has still not allowed me to eat. Tena bujilan aji nahika likan Krishna chit nahikene karahatatan. I have therefore understood that Krishna has not allowed any rice for me today. If Krishna's sanction is not there, why should we endeavor? Koti bhakshya dravya jari take ni jagare krishna gya haile se kahi bari bari jai dine krishna rajare likan na hai koti jatna karuka tadhapi siranai One may have unlimited food stuffs at home, but he can only he can eat only with Krishna's sanction. If Krishna does not allow anything on some day, then even by endless endeavor, no one will be able to achieve a thing.
If Krishna does not favor one, then one will certainly be unsuccessful in spite of unlimited endeavors. Service to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna is dependent on the mercy of Krishna. Mundane endeavor cannot produce success. Nisha dhida prahara duyo vajajaya ihate ki arapaka karite jajaya it is practically the middle of the night, and it, it, is it proper to cook at this time? Atevaji jatna kariya kvalamula kichu matra karimu ahar. Therefore, do not make any further arrangements for cooking. Today, I will simply eat some fruits and roots. Vishruva bolena nahika kona dosh. To me, Pakka Karile says Sabara Santosh. There will be no fault if you cook. Everyone will be satisfied. Ete Boli Visharupa Darila Charan Sadite Lagila Sabe Karite Randan. Saying this, Visharupa caught hold of the Brahmana's feet. Everyone else requested, also requested him to please cook again for his Gopal deity. Visharupe Dekiya Mohita Vipravara Karibarandana Vipra Balila Udara. Enchanted by Visharup, the Brahmin said, All right, I'll cook again. Santo she sabe hari balite lagila stana upakas upas upaskara sabe karita lagila. Everyone present there expressed their satisfaction by chanting the name of hari 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 hari. Ate vyate stana upaskari savajan randanera samagri anila tatakshan. They then quickly cleaned the kitchen and brought ingredients for cooking. Jali Lena Vipravar Karita Randan Shishu Avariya Rahi Lena Sarvajan Palaya Palaya Takura Achina Jay Gari Mishavasi Lena Say Karera <clears throat> Dui Jari. Jagdam Mishra sat in front of the door where the child was detained. Sabi Bolena Banda Barira Duyara Bahira Jate Jena Nai Parik Ara. Everyone said, Lock the door from outside so he cannot get out. Mishra Boli Bhala Bhala. Jay Jukti Hai Bandiyas Duyara Same Bahaja Achai. Jagannath Mishra said, That's a good idea. Thus Jagannath Mishra and others sat outside the door. They're lashing the door. Tai Gaur Harivam, Tai Gaur Harivam, Tai Gaur Harivam. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Ki Jai.